Let's go for it. And this is bad. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Kind of picking up exactly where we left off in the last episode. Uh, I did have just, what was it, the Crafty Mike mission. Um, I wasn't going to use this tech to drive 2.7 kilometers to him. So I just canceled his mission and came up to this trading station, which then supplied us with three more uh quests which i thought was kind of interesting because one of these quests is the almighty cube the very first one right off the bat and as i remember the almighty cube isn't like the easiest it's not a hard quest but it's like not super easy either you need some pretty good weapons but i do want to say thank you for all your guys's comments in the last episode uh and i'm glad that you guys are so excited that season nine is here hopefully we can do some pretty cool stuff um as we obviously advance and get uh more more uh, corporations open and more blocks. Obviously, our techs, I'll start experimenting more with different styles of techs. Uh, I'm going to try and build stuff that I haven't built before, which is probably going to be a little difficult. But maybe maybe I'll just elaborate or make techs that I've already built before, you know, bigger. <laughs> okay, come on. But uh, yeah, we're going to go head over to the Almighty Cube right away because I do want to check this out. All right, let's take a look at this tech that's coming in. Is it big? Is it small? If it's big, we're toast right off the bat, so... Uh... We lob stuff over the top. Kind of interesting that the mini... Mini mortars is not doing its job. As you guys can see, the <laughs> they're hitting over here. Just to the side of it, it's like... I'm so glad I got that weapon. <laughs> okay, aim for the cab. There, that's what I wanted to see. Oh, we got some blocks. Just anchor in. Just, just do it. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna clean up this mess, get what I can out of it, and uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at Almighty Cube. I love how these new areas just spawn in, especially for like the Almighty Cube and then uh, Better Future's bigger quests, or, or the building quests, I guess you'd say, like when you're traversing a dangerous building. But yeah, this is really cool, actually. Good location, too. Like, will it stay here so we can build a base right on top of it? No. <laughs> All right. So tons of talking, as usual. Um, and I think the very first one is where they like kind of mess around with us like we go and we try and destroy it and then this guy's like no <laughs> but anyways let's see what happens here gso3 pound cannon only okay what a ripoff i'm out of here oh okay okay eventually meet the leader okay while he's talking let's see what weapons we do have overall do we have we got some stud lasers that'd be nice but Oh, we have some more three pound cannons, so let's anchor in if we can. This, get rid of those lasers, and we will put these two three pound cannons on there. Oh, guess we needed a little more power here. Look at those puny guns. Who are you to judge me, man? Huh? I uh, wonder some mortal shields. Okay. And break weight. Anyways. Either way. <laughs> uh, I wish there was a way you could speed through these. Or like, go faster, just click on the screen. You know. Okay, challenge the almighty cube. Okay, done. Okay, there we go, finally. Uh, I can't remember. Just under 20 seconds. Oh, no, he's still alive. Uh, time is up. Uh, damage you couldn't do. Alright, apparently we need more firepower. 
Okay, so what do we have to do? Back up and go back in? Well, it doesn't say failed. Back to the challenge again. Yes! Okay, come on. Like, we almost had it. Almost. Kind of a difficult quest for the first, you know, right off the bat without having really anything too, too strong for weapons. Come on, we got a couple of seconds. There we go. Whew. Just, just got it there. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Actually, eh, I was going to say, I wonder, it'll be interesting when we when we build this Geos, uh, Geocorp tech. Just because I was thinking maybe, just maybe, uh, the plasma cutters and... Oh, yeah. Forgot. These guys attacked us. He's not happy that we beat him. Oh, where are you going, bruh? Alright, come on. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Once again, not super fantastic. But not bad. Uh, especially for building blocks. So, yeah, I'm going to build us a Geocorp tech because, yeah, we got to get rid of this guy and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it's nothing pretty, but we'll give it a shot. We don't have enough wheels, which uh disappointing. I was, where is it here? There. We only have one more workaday wheel, so we only had four in total. Or, you know, the two, <laughs> two and two that matched, really. The Jaws wheels and the workaday wheels. I think, no, sorry, the Rugged Wheels. That's a workaday wheel. Any hoodle. Um, what else did I do here? I went with just repair bubbles, and then uh, we're going with, you know, some of the weapons. We'll see what we can do. Uh, plasma cutter on the back, or on the front, the side, sorry. And the gibble mounted plasma cutter. So hopefully this one locks in. I don't know if this one actually aims up or down. So that's one thing we'll have to find out, or we will find out. Let's see what we can do with this little guy. Oh, the the gimbal mounted one does attack. Okay, maybe not. Alright. Swing around. Come here. <laughs> Okay, maybe this isn't the best thing in the world. Um, hmm. We're going to need some guns for the time being. But it is the way I would like to go or try to go. Okay, if you could allow me to... Look, I just want to build all I want to do at the moment. All right, so we kind of got lucky. I just did another qu couple of quests here, and obviously the one I just uh, finished was the rubber miner one. Um, and I got the Geocorp anchor delivery cannon. And our tech is big enough to actually carry it. And I put the, what is this one? The TB Thresher on the front. And I was like, might as well, right? Like if we can, Harvest to make money at the same time as we go. That should be, you know, that's not a bad thing at all. But uh, yeah, every time we have to stop to fill the battery, we can uh, sell all the goods that we have. Which will be kind of, or is nice. Uh, but we need to add some more weapons because I just got rid of a bunch in order to put this on. Go. Blood lasers are going to be kind of useless that. We need some better weapons, you guys. Big time. Okay, so what are we doing? Hooligans or Novice Harvester? What's this one? Sell resources. Okay. We're winning already. Geocorp? The Geocorp uh, questline is fairly easy, if, as long as you just do the harvesting ones. Fairly quick, too. Uh, raiding party. Destroy the raiding party. Why not? We can give it a shot, right? 
Oh, you know what? Not have those there. Should have them there. And then I can go like that somewhat. Oh. Okay. Where's the raiding party? It's right here, so. I'm actually kind of happy. I've never done this before. The anchor delivery cannon on top of this. Always, uh, you know, made, uh, what is it, conveyor belt systems into lots of silos or whatever, right? Okay, they're pummeling us. Just debating here at the second, or for a second, as to what I want to do, how I want to attack these guys. Our lasers are horrible. <laughs> you know, I do miss some of the text from the old days, like, like especially the Geocorp ones. They were so big. Uh, okay, I turn to go forwards on you. Tear them apart if we can. Oh, that's kind of nice. That actually lifted him up off the ground. Uh, our firepower is not doing what I was hoping it would. I was hoping it would. Okay, go up. Yeah. Hmm. Disappointing. Disappointing. All right, just put some shield bubbles on it for the moment, and let's see what we can do here. Should probably stay away from him because I think we were we were uh, repairing the last guy we were fighting. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty brutal with the... You know, these fights. Especially when it's this... I don't know. Just early game fights. Your firepower is so weak. It's like, uh, come on. Takes forever just to destroy a couple of blocks. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least that's over and done with. Oh, are we going to take damage here? Yeah, just a little bit. Hmm. So yeah, Geocorp obviously does not move fast enough for us to do what we need to do. Like, <laughs> defend ourselves against the enemy techs. So... Definitely going to have to go with Geocorp and, like, I don't know, better weapons. So I've done a couple of Geocorp quests. Did the, what, Hooligan was one for GSO, and I was like, when we got the crate, I was like, why do I even do GSO quests again? <laughs> but I did make a couple of changes to our tech. Made it a little bit bigger. But anyways, uh, what do we have for weapons? Not a lot of stuff for weapons. Yet. But, uh... We're going to get there soon, even for GSO. Yeah. Nothing too fantastic. Uh, find a training station. Guess where we're going? Right to this training station. Good. And then I don't have to... Plumbite Harvester. Abandoned Tool Crate. That one kind of sounds a little new. Like, I've seen abandoned crates and stuff like that, but Tool Crate? Hmm. Let's check that one out. All right, we're out of here. And I do like this, the TB Thresher. But yeah, sometimes it does hinder us quite a bit, like as you guys can see there. <laughs> but it is what it is. 
uh, it's definitely worth having on the vehicle, especially, you know, also getting rid of stuff, right? Uh, sorry, I'm looking for the crate that I'm guessing is probably just somewhere in the area. The tool crate is somewhere in the area. Wow, look at me. There it is. Quite enjoying the the thresher and the delivery crate, or not the delivery crate, the delivery cannon. Um, it's making my life fairly easy. We're not making a ton of money off of it, but later on we can definitely have it so that uh, we're creating um, or we're fabricating component blocks, right? Yeah. Which is kind of the same old, same old, but either way. Uh, plumbite harvester. Go back into the forest. It really tries to keep you into the in the grasslands to begin with, huh? Hey? Um, all right, I'll get back over into some forestry area. Still wish there was a map that we could bring up, but uh, just so you could see like where all the biomes were. All right, time for some more missions. Really? I'm just getting harvesting quests, eh? Hey? Apparently, we have to do the crafty business quest. I get no choice on that one. Ten, uh. Ten I, mm, I don't remember this one. Is that... Okay. Never mind. I do remember it. Now that I know that it's the blue stuff. And I pretty much mined out all the rocks around here. I guess that's okay. Where is Crafty Business? How far is he? 369 meters. Okay. I'll get, the, the, I'll get him out of the way. And, uh... Yeah, hopefully we get some better quests here. I'm really looking for that uh, Geocorp quest. Or I'm pretty sure it was a Geocorp quest because the tech was a Geocorp. But yeah, anyways, the one where... I think it, it has the bridge in it. I don't remember what, like, maybe a bridge too far. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I really want to get to that quest. Because I want some cannons. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it because these GSO weapons are driving me crazy. They're not good. <laughs> and the Geocorp, well, they're only good for uh, farming, right? All right, so we just got a bunch of more lost payloads, abandoned tool cupboard, and I'm not sure which one I'm at right here. Abandoned tool cupboard, or tool crate. So, let's go. Hopefully it's in a nice easy area to get to. Our tech's not that good in, you know. Okay, that's super easy, hopefully. I think it's in the same location as last time. Oh, that's not the crate. <laughs> that's a bad guy. Uh, all right, I think the crate's just on the other side though. Pretty sure I just saw it. Yeah, it's right there. You know, it'll be interesting if we can do oh, the venture quests, like the speed tests with venture, <laughs> with the Geocorp text. It's possible. I've never made a Geocorp hovercraft, so we could definitely try that this season. Um, you know, we're getting some pretty, you know, some nice half-decent blocks. Or amount of blocks. We're not getting the... I guess I can't say we're not getting anything special, because we are getting good stuff. We're just not getting weapons, weapons, and more weapons. Okay, grade three. Look at that. Max out Geocorp in one episode. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, now we're getting some good stuff. There we go. Yeah. It's like, what do we do? Well, first things first. We go like this. Oh, you know what? I had workadays on here. Huh, that's interesting. What I want to go with is cat tracks. Um, you guys could get out from underneath me. I have to see how this drives. I think they need to be moved back a little bit just because obviously our only steering wheels are in the front, but should be all right. But anyways, what are we doing? Uh, lost payload. I actually like how it's driving now. Um, do we have enough? We don't. I'm gonna say, do we have enough repair bubbles? Actually, we might, as I have two double stacked under here. 
And we definitely have to make sure that that's getting repaired, so. Oh, really? <laughs> Didn't even mean to kill anything or destroy anything down there. I guess why not, right? Okay, anyways, we'll head over to the lost payload, see what we can what we get from that. Hopefully we get the other cat wheels. The front ones. Um, but yeah. I'm liking how our tech Hmm is it is working out right now. But the hmm was just an idea I got. Um I don't think I've ever done that. Actually, I, I know I haven't. And that is... <laughs> I'll fill you guys in. Um, taking a tech... Like, taking... The, like, obviously... Like, let's say, say the frame of what we have here. And just building onto it. Like... I guess... Technically... Yeah, no. That's kind of silly. Wouldn't work anyways. Because I was going to say that... You know... Always... Having to work from the uh, just the like one frame would be, it would be super difficult. But at the same time, you would just uh, you would just keep modifying it no matter how much you wanted to. Because I was gonna say like obviously from here, but that doesn't make any sense. So then you'd have to go from here. But then once again, it doesn't make much sense because I can just keep modifying it. So it was a silly idea. Apparently, I missed. Uh, Opening up this crate over here. Oh, and that's nice. Our anchor block that I got fixed. Oh, okay. Now I'm happy. Now I'm getting happy. I still have never used these blocks either. Uh, shield bubble, GSO, or Geocorp. Shield bubble. Hmm, there's some good stuff here, you guys. Good stuff. But obviously you guys can see that I took the anchor block and put it right there. But you know what? That anchor block is going to be taking damage all the time. And then we're going to have nothing but issues with it. But whatever. Uh, I wonder if we'll break it off, actually. Ah, we'll see. <laughs> Just taking damage over and over and over. Oh. And we're high centered. Three pound cannon sure turns slow too. Hmm. All right, what lucky missions are we getting now? There we go, Rook Creek Bridge. That's the one I wanted to get to. So. Get that one queued up, and let's go. Weapons. Oh, wait, let's... Oh, no. I was going to say, we should be able to get some new weapons, but those are just Geocorp weapons. I think. And nothing special either. Uh... I wonder how quickly this will rip that guy apart. Hmm... Had to see. Had to see if there was anything else. Alright. Let's go. I might make a smaller vehicle too. Probably get rid of the, the SCU off the back of this too. Just so we don't lose it. Same with the mobile delivery cannon. Or not the mobile delivery cannon, but the delivery cannon. Um, yeah, I just... I can't remember the armament this guy's carrying. Yeah, now I do. <laughs> All right. Stay back, don't cross the line, sunshine. Okay, what we need him to do is kind of rotate a little bit to the left. Nope. Rotating towards us. Maybe if we just wait. Yeah, he keeps rotating towards us like <laughs> stop it uh buddy go the other way look at what he's got there right like one two three four four cannons um some miniguns right click on the screen for donations i'm not donating nothing you're going down wingnut the moment you're not looking at me let's go for it 
And this is bad. Okay. <laughs> I was really hoping he wasn't going to turn, but clearly he did. Um, okay. But something dropped down here, so... And we're definitely in better shape than we were last time. Okay, maybe not. Oh, that is not a good idea. So I was gonna say, is that wing not shooting at us? And then I noticed that there's like four other techs around us. Okay, what we need to do is get rid of this SCU and get in Wingnut's face. So I just have to get far enough away so we can actually... Like that. Don't you dare despawn on me. I'm coming at you, bro. With my armament. Oh yeah, I think last time we got him jammed up. There we go. Okay, uh, well you just... Really wants to make me mad. So we, we actually kept a lot of his stuff versus last time. Wow, we got quite a few auto cannons there. Um, I'm wondering what we lost off the left of our vehicle. Our, our very first vehicle is toast. Let's go this way. Okay, it's grabbing everything. Looks like there's a couple of blocks down in there. Um, some shield bubbles, repair bubbles. All right, we'll jump down there real quick. Just to collect all those. And... Do we take fall damage? Eh, a little bit. Not much. All right, so what did we get for Hawkeye? <laughs> Now we're winning. Okay, so we got two auto cannons, five DFA mortars, two HG1 cannon turrets, and eight. Eight MK3 battleship cannons. Oh yeah, we're winning now. <laughs> I really like that quest. Like, obviously it's difficult to deal with him. Uh, beat that guy. And you know what? Honestly, I think if you're going to do it, don't go with a large tech. Go with a super small tech. I'm probably like pretty much the size of this. Uh, the moment we got underneath them, we could really deal as much damage as, and damage as we wanted because those MK3 battleship cannons don't aim down very well. And same with the auto cannons, they're on top so they can't aim down. Okay, if we get out of here, that'd be great. Whew, there we go. Winning. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.